Okay, here's a quick preview of what Power Supply will be building that's coming up probably a big Tuesday or so, probably after. Anyway, it has these speaker terminals for him here, we get from all electronics. All these parts cost about less than $60. Anyway, then we have a switch right here. Then there's our voice control knob. This is all going to be put in a wooden box. So it will so it'll be safe and it will be... And it won't get tangled up and break. And become more at nest like it looks like right now. Anyway. We have our two meters here. This, this here, this here, our 200 mil volt meter, or we could say it's a 200 milliamp meter. It's a volt meter, but it's being used as an amp meter by having a resistor in parallel with it that will that will convert the current to a voltage, and it has one ohm. Why well, I chose one ohm resistor? Well, these are not one ohm. There's two of them in series that add up to be one ohm. They're, they're a half ohm resistor. If you add them together, you get one ohm. One ohm makes the math simple and easy. So you don't have to do calculations on it when you read the number on it, because it's going to be times one. This is a 20 volt meter, since this is this, still this, this going to be able to power up between 24 volts, 21, I measured it, it was like 21 volts or so, at the max, so 20 volt meter will do fine. You can put a 200 volt meter on it if you want, if the other one all trying to 200 volt meter. But anyway, let's turn this thing on, and let's show you this, so what happens before my, before my tablet battery goes dead. I was going to put a fan on it, but the fan broke for some reason. What happened is it started shorting out the power supply and the, the, and the switching power supply started to get on pulses showing a sign that it tried producing out current that it couldn't get. Anyway, let's turn it on. Right now you can see that we're at 10 volts, 7.96 volts. There's nothing hooked to the load. So right there you have zero reading on it. Nothing hooked to it. Nothing is being drawn. Oh yeah, for for these for these for these resistors, the the, the 15 watt, this is good for up to 500 milliamps. But then is I want to make a 500 milliamps so there's a power supply deal because there's 100 milliamps there with 120 milliamps with the meters to add on to it because the thing is this this power supply can only supply 21 amp so if you have it that will give like 600 milliamps the fuse uh, the fuse goes 740 milliamps or so with over 50 milliamps if you wanted to because 15 watt will cover it you want to make sure it's at least 12 watts if you want to do 500 milliamps Draw from whatever your project hook up to if it's 500 milliamps. One amp won't be able to do it, the resistors could break. Because of the wattage. Depending on, it also depends on what voltage you use. There's another reason with the wattage. Same thing with this pentiometer. It will to, to uh, know what voltage you're going to use. You to know what know what genre you use what resistance fire you're gonna use on it. Depends on what how high the voltage you want to go. Since this was twenty four volt, the highest probably would be good for is five kilohms, which is what I got. Since I wanna get everything for all electronics. So I decided the best one to find there was a five kilohm one. Well, that's about it, and I can show you if I adjust this, this here down all the way, you can see that it goes to 1.25 volts. 
And that's the lowest as it can go. Well, I better end this video short because my both my tablet smack is about to die. Anyway. But anyway, wait, 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 how you hook the load onto it, you take the, take the output pin. This is, this circuit here doesn't use a circuit board. I want to make, uh, it's easy for me to do wires instead of a circuit board. Because the twitches that go closer together and stuff like that, you solder and touching stuff that it's not supposed to be touching. The trace could come off, etc. Whatever you want to say you could do. Old times, long time ago, I had, I had this oscilloscope. That was really old. And it used tubes on it. Vacuum tubes. And inside it, they, they didn't have no circuit board. Everything was like, soldered to these binding posts type thing, you want to call it. That had one strand with one lead going this way and that way. This is exactly what we do with this thing. Except it's not using those binding posts, it's using wires. Well, if you put it in a case, it'll be safe. And then you put some electrical tape around the leads here. This fuse block I got there is a good fuse holder for it. So, on my wedding case, I can have, have it drill a hole and put it on there. The only problem I think it's going to have is that with the size of fitting them, fitting the, the bezel on this meter here, and fitting this potentiometer to it. I might have to use plywood. I think we have plywood that will work. Hopefully we do so I can get some and and use it on as our case. Make it from plywood. Plywood is thin so it shouldn't be a home it shouldn't be that hard to use. Hopefully we get something like that. Well that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Like it.